I recently popped into Zara as I've been doing a little bit of work on my wardrobe and my personal style and there was definitely a few things that I wanted to try on. First up is what I'm actually wearing, it's this white top. This is a ribbed, I don't know if you can see it here, but it's like a ribbed material and I don't have, I think I have one basic white t-shirt that's starting to look a little bit sort of like a pyjama top. I mean, I'm guilty of wearing it as a pyjama top, so that's probably why. And I was on the hunt for actually a baggier white t-shirt, couldn't find one in the cut and the style that I liked, but I did come across this, which is obviously a lot more fitted, but I think these are so useful and have such a good place inside your wardrobe. Let me just get the information. I'm pretty sure this was £10. Let me just find it. So yeah, this is 9 99 I got this in a medium. I, I tried the medium on the store and I thought it fit fine. Now, it does fit fine, but in hindsight, I probably could have got a large in this as well. I also love that it is a tighter fitting top, especially in summer, because I can wear it with a lot of baggier stuff on the bottom half. So obviously I've just got these loose sort of jean shorts. I love to wear this with loose trousers. Um, I love how it looks under jackets. So yeah, I just think this is a real good buy for me and I'm very glad I picked it up. I do have this in other colours as well, so I think I'm definitely going to get the black one because if this one's been so useful so far, I can imagine a black one would be just as useful. Next, I was on the hunt for a shirt. I love shirts in summer. I love when you wear them undone and you wear them over things. I just love how they look with jeans and shorts and so on. So I was on the hunt for a more sort of classic shirt. I didn't find it, but I did find this crop shirt. It's in this like really, really fine blue stripe material, but it almost just looks like it's just blue. And it's cropped which isn't as classic i understand that they're very much a trend piece at the minute but i would wear this whether it's a trend piece or not but i do understand it's not as classic because you can't wear it with everything however i do think it's really really fun for summer i got this in a size medium and this was 25.99 so again it wasn't cheap i'm just hoping once i've washed and ironed it it goes back to looking like it did when i first bought it because that's my only worry sometimes with some of Zara's pieces is that once you wash them, the quality seems to decrease slightly. This is what the shirt looks like. I absolutely love how this fits. I've just paired it with these trousers from H&M. As you can see, it's quite cropped. So you definitely would need, well for me anyway, something nice and high-waisted. And what I love about this shirt is the details of the pocket. So as you can see, this one just finishes where the shirt finishes, whereas this one comes a little bit further down. And I don't know, I just think when you've got some quite basic pieces, just having something with this detail just gives it a little bit something extra, you know? It just makes it a little less basic. Moving on to one of my favourite things that I've bought, and it's this black linen waistcoat. I absolutely love the waistcoat trend and again I know it's a trend that's around right now but I will now that I have one I will wear this regardless of if it goes out of trend or not because for me again I think this is a wardrobe staple especially in the summertime because I think in summer you can be a little bit limited to the different sort of items you can wear especially because you're not layering and I don't know my outfits always tend to be a little bit more sort of basic in the summer i mean there's only so many different type of tops that i can find and wear so finding another top to add into that category is amazing it took me so long to actually commit to buying one of these because i really struggled with how they fit again every time i saw pictures of people wearing these they seem to fit like a glove and they look really seamless and really sleek and when i was trying them on i just wasn't getting that look for me I have a bigger bust the V here just wasn't fitting seamlessly. It looked very, very gapy the smaller the size was. So yeah, I ended up going with a large and I now love how this looks and how it fits. I'm taking the tag out of this, but this was £29.99. This is how the waistcoat looks. And I must say, I really do like this waistcoat a lot. Also, I think it just goes to show as well that when you see something on someone else and it looks amazing and you try, try it on for yourself and it doesn't necessarily work, sometimes you just have to try a few different styles or a few different sizes because it's not necessarily that it doesn't look good on you, it's just that you haven't quite got the right fit and I think the fit is key. So I'm really glad that I found one 
that I'm happy with how it looks on me because I was on the verge of giving up. I was like, that's it, waistcoats aren't for me. I don't have the body type for it. It um, doesn't look how I want it to look. And then I found this one and I love this. I'm really happy with how it fits. Then I picked up this vest. Again, it's just a white basic vest. I think it's become really apparent to me that I am really lacking on basics and they really are the foundation of my outfit. So I wanted to pick up a vest because I love how they look. So I picked up this one. I have had a version of this before. This is something that Zara have had for many years, I think. This was 11 99 I believe the price has gone up because, again, I don't think they were this much when I first got one. I got one in black a few years ago. But I added the white, got this in a medium, and this fits really nice. I absolutely love the fit of this. So, as you can see, it's this really nice material that almost clings to you, but not in like a suffocating way. It's got these nice thick straps, which I love, and it doesn't appear to be see-through at all. This bit here, like under your boob, is double lined. I've literally just chucked this on with some wide leg trousers. These are all from Zara, also from Zara. I got these a few years ago, and I wear them to death. But I've literally just chucked them on with these trousers, a pair of trainers. So simple, but this is an outfit that I actually really like, and I would wear over and over again. So yeah, just having this top, and again, I think this top, even though it is literally just a basic white tank top, um, it can be dressed up and down so easily. We have a faux leather jacket next. Now, this isn't that strange to buy in summer in the UK because although we have some really hot days and we do have some very nice weather, our evenings still tend to get quite cool and chilly and we also do experience quite a bit of rain. So I've been wanting to pick up a um, leather jacket for ages. I don't currently own any leather or faux leather jackets at the minute. And this one I absolutely love because it's got this real sort of vintage vibe to it. Also has a belt that is already attached so it's not that annoying belt that always comes loose. This was expensive. This was £80. I thought that was um, quite a lot but because it is like my perfect leather jacket and I've been on the hunt for one for ages I picked it up and I love how this fits. I got this in a size large, so I love this and I'm looking forward to getting quite a bit of wear out of it towards the end of summer and also as we go into autumn. I forgot about how much I loved this jacket and so I just tried it on again. It literally is my perfect leather jacket that I've been looking for. So as you can see, it's a little bit oversized, but a really great fit on me. And also when we do go into the colder months, not that I'm in any rush, but I will be able to fit some jumpers under here or knitwear, which is what I wanted. I don't want it to look too big without having anything underneath, just like a thin top. But again, I wanted to be able to layer with it just so I can get as much use out of it as possible. And it will be very, very comfortable regardless. So this is it done up. I do like it done up. I think it'll probably look better with trousers or jeans done up. But I do like it. It's quite nice and boxy. And I really wanted a leather jacket that wasn't cropped. I know the cropped ones are really popular but for my wardrobe and how much wear I would get out of it I just think having the longer length really works better for me. I find if I have the cropped ones I'm a little bit limited to what I can wear them with whereas this one I think I can pretty much wear with anything. I knew I wanted to add a leather jacket and I also knew that I wanted to add another lightweight jacket that I could wear now and as we sort of go into um, end of summer and this caught my eye as soon as I went into Zara I saw it hanging up and I was like that is gorgeous and it will be perfect and actually this is one of the things at Zara that was really well priced this was £32.99 I know it's very lightweight it's in this cotton sort of material but I just know that I'll get so much wear out of this when I want to add another layer to my outfit so for example what I'm wearing now I could add this and I'd be good to go just go with so much of what I already own. I got this in a size medium to large, so you've had extra small to small or medium, medium to large, but I always prefer how the medium to large is fit on me. I actually think this is one of my favourite purchases I've made so far. No, stop, this is making me so excited to wear this. Why does this look so expensive? And it was literally like 
one of the cheapest well no we're not one of the cheapest but jackets wise one of the cheapest jackets in zara i love this so i don't know is it the color that's making it look expensive is it the the shape of it so it's just like in this really simple sort of almost bomber style jacket so it's got the elastic waistband which just tucks in really nicely if you want to wear it done up but then undone it looks really nice as well and again i know i keep talking about the weather but dressing for a british summer can be quite difficult because the weather can literally be doing so many different things in a week so i just feel like having a light jacket like this is ideal to chuck over whatever i'm wearing moving on to bottoms and this was actually a sale purchase which i was so happy to get my hands on this is a pair of linen trousers this says doesn't have the price on it says it's 32.99 i know i didn't pay that i'm sure i paid something like 14 pound for these something like that and i got these in a size large they're 100 percent linen and they're this really nice sandy sort of beigey colour. They're actually quite a warm toned beige, which is nice for summer. And this also come with a matching waistcoat. I did try the waistcoat on in store, but they didn't have the size available that I needed. And to be honest, I didn't really love how the waistcoat fit on me. Again, it's different to that one. This was just this sort of sleeveless um, waistcoat. I didn't really need the waistcoat. So this is how the linen trousers look. I love how these fit. They are a really nice length. They're nice and wide legs, but not too wide legs. I'm not really into like super wide leg trousers. Like this is enough for me. They're a tad see-through. I don't know if you can see that. I'm wearing dark underwear. So when I do wear these, I'll make sure that I'm not... I'm not wearing something so dark. But yeah, I absolutely love these. I live in my black fur. They're not, my other ones aren't linen, but I have um, a black pair that fit very similar to this and I live in them. So now that I can add a beige pair to my collection makes me really happy because I think they're really nice for summer and they're just so easy to wear and they're comfortable. Lastly is another pair of bottoms and it's these beige shorts similar to the trousers but these aren't linen i would say these are a little bit dressier these what size do i get these in these are in a size medium and one thing i find with zara they do really really well is their shorts so when i'm looking for shorts zara tends to be one of the first places i look for shorts because i don't know i just think they do really really great styles of shorts they'll do so many different types and i'll always find what i'm looking for so I knew I wanted to add some more shorts to my wardrobe for summer and these were perfect. Here's what the shorts look like. I absolutely love these. They're nice and high waisted. They are the perfect leg, leg length for me. I love where they finish and I don't know, they're just really classic and we'll just go with so much in my wardrobe. I've paired it with the shirt, I've kept the shirt on. Again, like, I love this look. This is like a perfect tailored look for me. And I've just got it on with these white sandals from, I think I got these from Mango. The fact that these pieces work so well together makes me really happy. Because again, this is just like an ideal outfit for me. And these shorts would just go with so much in my wardrobe. I love them. That's everything that I picked up from Zara recently. I hope you like some of the pieces that I chose and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.